pretty much doing nothing, just winding down in the resort. Our plan for now is to rent a two-wheeler, which is a good way to get around Gokarna because it's a small town and everything. And we'll probably go cafe hopping because they have a great cafe scene around here. Um, apart from that, do we have anything? Nothing for today. Nothing for today. Just chilling. Yeah. One thing about Gokarna is that it's got a really good cafe culture, right? And uh, most of these cafes are, are mostly these shacks next to the beach. And, uh, and since there's a lot of foreigner traffic uh, in Gokarna, all of them pretty much serve uh, all kinds of food. So we are at Namaste Cafe, the vibe is really good. Uh, I see all kinds of people. I see uh, people contemplating, chilling, having their beer. I see kids running around. I see, I see quiet families. I see loud families. I see annoyingly loud families. All kinds of people. Uh, and uh, a very nice Bob Marley-ish vibe, which I don't complain at all. stands for uh, Thousand Springs. You actually don't see Thousand Springs here, but what you see is like a massive pond, uh, is, uh, which I read is about six acres uh, in, in area. So it's a very, very famous pilgrimage place uh, around uh, this part of the country. And uh, around this pond, you see many temples, uh, which we plan to explore at least a few of them. Uh, and the custom here is that People come here, take a dip in the spawn, and then go and do their puja or pilgrimage at this uh, at, at one of these temples. It, it was a massive, I mean, it was a big surprise for us. It's a beautiful place. Uh, one thing that Pooch uh, said was, it kind of takes you back in time, right? Because uh, a lot of these buildings around the spawn uh, is uh, they still have that old uh, charm. Hardly see any modern buildings, so it's a very, very charming place. And uh, anybody who comes to Gokana should definitely do it. Uh, I think what's also going to be very interesting is taking these uh, small gullies and uh, streets uh, surrounding this uh, this lake or a pond. Yesterday the guy uh, who gave us the, the, the scooty recommended uh, two local vegetarian places to visit. One is this place called uh, Pai Restaurant and 
uh, I got a glimpse of it when we were going down the street. It, it had, it looked really nice. Uh, it, it had that 90s feel, you know, that wooden chair and the yeah. wooden desk. Mm -hmm. So it looked really nice from the outside. So that's one place that you got, right? What do you get? Uh, it, it's vegetarian food. I think it's the meals and all of that. Uh, I don't think there's anything special. There's no special item as such, but then I think the way they do it is special, I guess. Who just ordered some strong coffee? They ordered some uh, much game. What do you Kind of strong. Watch it all. We've just had our breakfast and made our way back to where we found the scooty. Koti uh, Devta, I mean coming in, I thought it will be like one of those typical pilgrimage places which is super crowded and I, I had mentally geared myself up for like not liking it at all and I must say I was pleasantly surprised because this place is super calm, like if you see behind us there's literally like very few people, it's quiet, it has a kind of calm, happy, like good energy about it. We had like a amazing time going through these small streets which are usually probably the houses of the priests here and they've lived here for ages and the houses are kept as they are which is beautiful. The sun has come out, it's catching up heat, it's only like 10 in the morning and uh, you, we can already feel the heat so I think this is one of those places you have to come out really early in the morning if you want to catch it at a quiet time and then you have your breakfast and make your way back. Yeah, so. I think that Koti Devta is the other side of Gokarna which doesn't get talked about where you know you have this sort of spiritual um, sort of pilgrimage sort of a thing and it's also old Gokarna this is where I think the people of Gokarna live right it's nice to see you know locals just bringing up their breakfast in the morning and taking their uh, cattle out and all those things 